Right, continuing on in the probability slice, this one is outcomes in event probability. Okay, now suppose that the genders of three children in a family are soon to be revealed. An outcome is represented by a string of the sort, uh, which means girl, boy, boy in, the, in that particular order. Now there are eight different outcomes that uh, can occur, as you can see, and they list every way that this could happen. There's eight of them. And then they want us to go through here and identify situations where we have exactly one girl, and then at the end calculate the probability. So we simply look at these closely and ask ourselves, in this string, is there exactly one girl? And you say no, because there's two there. Uh, here, no, because there's none, no girls. Here's one, here's one, here's one girl right there. Okay, what about here? No, there's two. What about here? Yeah, there's one girl at the beginning. What about here? No, they're all girls. Uh, what about here? No, there's uh, two girls. And here, yes, there's one girl in the middle. So we count up what we have. There are three of those. So the probability of choosing that situation, remember probability is always a fraction. The top of the fraction tells us the ways that we can get what we want. In this case, we wanted exactly one girl. We found there there were three ways for that to happen. The total number of ways goes on the bottom, and there were eight of those. So that probability would be three eighths. Okay, next one. No girls on the last two births. So we look at the last two, and we don't want to see girls there. So what we're looking for is boy, boy in the last two. So uh, do we have that here? And we say no. What about uh, here? And we say yeah, because there's a boy, boy at the last two. What about here? No. What about here? No. What about here? Yeah, there's one. It's a boy, boy at the end. What about here? No. Here. No. Here. No. That's all of them. So we have two. That's going to be two out of eight. But of course, two eights would reduce to one out of four. So let's reduce that. And in our third and final line, two or more girls. So simply look and see if we've got two or three girls. So here's two girls. That's in. Uh, none here. One here. Two here. That's good. Uh, how about here? Only one girl. How about here? There's three girls. That's good. Put that in. Two girls here. Put that in. Uh, only one girl here. I'll leave that out. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, four out of eight. So that's the fraction four out of eight, but of course four out of eight reduces to one over two. And let's check that and see what we've got. Alex is happy.